Star Trek, the original series, Mud's Woman. Captain's Log, star date 1329.8, USS Enterprise in pursuit of unidentified vessel, bridge, Sulu. There he is, sir, central screen. Still trying to run away from us, sir. Kirk, don't lose him. Mr. Sulu? Sulu? No, sir. Kirk, Earth ship, Mr. Spock? Spock, difficult to say, Captain. We're getting no registration beam from it. Scott, if it is, he'll soon overload his engine. Spock, sir, he's pushing his engine too hard. Sulu, changing course again. He knows we're after him, all right. Kirk, stay with him. Mr. Sulu, communication? Euro. I tried all the frequencies, sir. He refuses to answer, unless he's not receiving us. Kirk, he's receiving us, all right. Spark approaching an asteroid belt, Captain. Celebrating 3-5. Kirk, detectors on, Mr. Farrell. Sulu, he's, he's seen the asteroids too, sir. Kirk, stay with him. He tried to lose us in them. Sulu, if one hits him, Spark, sense of reasons on the vessel. I make out a small Class J cargo ship. His engines are sipping. Kirk, to try to warn him. If he loses, if he loses power now, Farrell, then go his engines, sir. Sulu, he's drifting into the asteroid belt, Captain. Farrell, he's had, he's had it. Unless we put out a defective screen round him. Defective screen round him, Scott, Captain. We try. We overload our own engines. He's far too far gone away. Cover him with our detective. Detective screen, Mr. Farrell. Scotty, Spock. Stand by transporter room. Scott, aye, sir. They leave. Farrell, we're detecting him, sir. We won't be able to hold it long. Sulu, we are overloading, Captain. Engineer, temperature, climbing. Crewman, this is the engineer room. This is the engine room. Temperatures are passing the danger zone. Line. Farrell, our defective screen's weakening, sir. We can't protect him much longer. Let's let flicker. Sulu, that was one of our, our lithium crystal circuits, sir. Cut bridge to transport room. You can't stop. You don't stop beam the crew over soon, Scott. They're not answering our signal. There's nothing to lock onto. Sulu, lights go out again. No circuit, sir. You're right. I'm getting a distress signal from them, sir. Kirk, Scotty, we're getting a distress signal. Tem- tem- transporter room, Scott. We're locked into something, Captain. Mud, meaning no ingratitude, gentlemen. But just where it is, I find myself. McCoy, you're aboard the USS Enterprise. Mud, it really a damn beautiful ship, isn't it? Really a beautiful ship. Ah, oh, name, gentlemen, it's Walsh. Captain Noah Walsh. Spock, how many more in your crew? Mud, just a few more. Scott, your ver- your vessel's breaking up, man. Don't get them over here right now, Mud. We couldn't be sure. It was a friendly vessel. Now could we? Ah, but the three will be in the position about by now. Bridge Sulu, another lithium crystal, so another lithium circuit. Now substance cementing with battery power, sir. Kirk, Scotty, how many of them do you get? Did you get aboard, Scott? Only one, sir. But we locked into three more transporter rooms. Spock, what's wrong, Scott? I don't know, sir. But there's three lithium batteries, crystals gone. Spock, it can't. It won't take longer on battery power. McCoy never trusted this. Bridge, Farrell, there, there she goes. Sulu, some asteroid hit her dead center. Transporter room, Kirk. Bridge to bridge to transporter room. The vessel has been hit by asteroid. It's gone. Did you get the crew off? Scott, not yet, sir. But we hopped into something. Three women, being men, the men of Transfix. Kirk. Kirk to the transport room. Report. Mud. It's all right, darlings. We're all good in good hands. Bridge. Kirk. Bridge to the transport room. Farrell. We're clearing the asteroid belt now, Captain. Kirk. Detect the reflector screen down. It's Farrell. Save the power. Transporter room. Kirk. Captain to the transport room. Are you reading me or not, Mr. Sp- Scott? Bridge to the transport room. How many did you get off? Scott. Uh, four in all, sir. Kirk. Is that... Is that if that captain can walk? I wonder in the, my cabin. My cabin immediately. Cretch, Cretch, Kirk, Bridge, Kirk. I want him. 
there, whether he can walk or not, Kirk out, transport to him. Mud. That fellow is sending a mate upset, didn't he? McCoy, yes. Yes, they are. Spark Chris, you're certain this was everyone aboard, Mr. Welsh? No equipment? Mud. Oh, no, it's everyone, everyone all right. But so as far as the ladies actually being the crew, Spark, you can explain that to the captain, the group Lee McCoy. Amen to that, Scotty. Corridor mud. Are you sure these star trips are really something marvellous? But men will always be men to man the matter. Where they are, oh, mister, you never take that out of them. Friend bow lift. Spock. Deck 12. Mad, you must be a part of Vulcan, aren't you? As well, then, a pretty face doesn't affect you at all, does it? Unless you want it to. You're going to say it, girls. This type can turn yourself off from any emotion. Eve, I apologise for what you said, sir. You're used to buying and selling people. Might I handle the conversation, darling? Captain's quarters. Kirk, Spark, come, Spark. Commander and transport to see you, Captain. Kirk, good. Now, if you don't mind telling Eve hello. Kirk, and ladies, is this your crew, Captain? Mine, well, no, Captain. This is my, my cargo. Captain's log, stardate 1329.1. Taken aboard an unregistered transport vessel, Captain and his three unusual females. His women, a mysterious magnetic effect on the male uh, members of my crew, including myself. Explanation unknown at present. Captain's quarters, mud. Well, now the devil am I supposed to know? This is a starship, Captain. Here I am with a cargo of young lady lovelies. A strange ship comes up at slow side. Well, naturally, I did my best to evade you. Evade you and the starship, Captain, or no. You had seen your authority when you drove me and mine in a shower of asteroids. Kirk, your name, please? Mud. Wash. Wash. Malaria Wash. You destroyed me ship, Captain. Kirk. Mr. Walsh, I'm conversing a ship's hearing on your actions. Mr. Spock will supply you with any legal information you may need for your defence, Mud. You're a hard nose on one, Captain. Kirk, and you're a liar, Mr. Walsh. I think we both understand each other's security. Escort Mr. Walsh to his quarters. You'll find him there. Very solo. You're off duty, Johnny. Uh, back to reality, Frau. You can feel their eyes when they look at you. There's something holding, something grabbing hold of you. You notice that? Solo noticed. How am I noticed? Come on, Johnny. Spot. We've got trouble, Mr. Spock. Spock, I am well aware of that, Mr. Scott. Scott, one of you and Crystal left, and a move a hairline split at the base. Spock, better rig a, uh, rig a bypass circuit. Scott, we can't, we lose the whole conveyor. Converter, assembly. Kirk, Kirk here. Spock, need you on the bridge, Captain. Spock, need you on the bridge, Captain. Briefing room. Women. Woman. Harry, where are you? you? Where were you? Mad. Shh. Come, come, calm down, me darling. Calm down there, darlings. Would you mind waiting outside? Security. Sorry, sir. Mad. Well, no, no. Answer every question they put to you. Don't lie. Well, there's no need to have you. And don't submit a med. That is, that is it being so healthy. There's no need for a medical exam. Have they? But what if they ask about? Mud, they won't. Have you no place to go, lads? Mud, you notice we're different. Mud, no, no, they won't. Let me let, get Leo to take all the hard questions. Now, don't be panicking, loves. We'll get to. Eve, get where? We don't have a ship. We're heading the wrong way, Carrie. Nud. Mud. Leo? Leo Walsh is my name, darling. Don't forget that. So lovely, lovely, aren't they? They only think lovely thoughts. If they smile, they come out right some way, won't they? My personal guarantee on that. Bridge, Spock, the entire ship powers feeding through our li- one lesbian crystal. Kirk, well, switch to the bypass, Kirk, it's Scott. You burn them out when we superheated. That jackass Walsh did not 
and he wreck his vessel. But he say, but he, I was in say, Kirk, if it makes you feel better, engineer, one jackass for going to get, we're going to see skin, Scott. But it's frustrating. Almost a million gross tons of vessel, depending on a hunk of crystal, size of my fist, Spock. And that crystal won't hold up. Not pulling our power for it. Kirk, we all missed a minute, Spock. Scott, Spock, there's a lithium mining operation, low girl 12. Hoi, low grade ore, I heard. Kirk, location and distance, Spock. It's three hours, was the course. Less than two days of travel. Kirk, make Pharrell Jail 12, Mr. Spock. Spock, Radio 12, Mr. Pharrell, you have the course. Captain Long, start eight one three two nine dot stroke dot two. Board the SS, USS Enterprise. Ship hearing is being conveyed by the transport vessels, Captain. Becoming concerned, but a homeless hermetic, hermetic, hermetic effect. Produced by the women, were women. Briefing room, Kirk. This hearing is conveyed. Stardate 1329.9. Board Starship US Enterprise. Former hearings against transport captain Leo Walsh. Start computer. Spock, state your name for the record. Mud, I Lou, Louis. Leo Francis Walsh. Computer, incorrect. Scott, your correct name. My gentlemen, surely you're not going to take the word of a solicitor. Colonel kind of device or oh, that to a real flesh and blood man. Spock, state your correct name for the record. Mud. Harry Mud. Computer incorrect. Mud. Ha court friend of Mud. Spock. Got any uh, past offences, Mr. Mud? Mud, of course not. Gentlemen, I'm simply an honest businessman. Computer incorrect. Mud. Blast that tin plated pot. Computer fill data coming on screen. Roof. You can't. If it can read our minds too, mud, it can't, darling, it can't. Just on the record, Cupida, offence, offence record, smuggling, centre suspended, transport of gold and goods, purse, is a space vessel with confederate, counterfeit currency, scientists, scientists, psychiatric treatment, pregnancy disputed. Kirk, Mr. Mud, you charge with galaxy travel without a flight plan, without an investigation beam? If they don't answer starship vest signal, that's affecting a menace to navigation. Mud. What? My tiny ship and this immense galaxy? A menace to investigate navigation? Kirk, you also chain, charged with an operation of a vessel, a license license. Mud. Untrue, I have a master's ticket. Give it an incorrect master's license revoked. So I'd 81116.4. Mud. All right. Well, you're very cl- simply low, Walsh, who is to be my captain on his trip, passed away suddenly. Well, I had no choice to take out the mean ship, out me own self. I surely leave his name out of courtesy to him. A merry miss, if, if it were. A fine, fine man, alas, gone to his world, through to his world. Kirk, destination, purpose of journey, my preparation, planet Ocarus, waving settlers. Kirk, come on again, Mr. Spot Mud. You do what? Kurt, mud. I recruit women, wives from settlers. A diff, diff, difficult but satisfying task. Computer, Kurt, data, data on witness. Computer, no data. Computer, Kurt, computer. Do you sense, do a sensor probe? Any unusual readings, computer? No, discernment, describe a reading on females. Have unusual readings on male, broad members. Detecting high perspiration patterns, perspiration rate up, heartbeat rapid, proud pressure higher than normal Kirk. Ah, that's significant. Drink that for the record, bud. You see, gentlemen, just as I told you, three lovely ladies were destined for frontier of pranal planets to be the companions of a lonely man to supply that morph for the human touch that's so desperately needed. A woman of the home, a family, gentlemen. I look after this work as a, look upon this work. A sacred public trust. I you devoted me whole life to it. Give it an incorrect. But, well, I, I'm about to start if I do my whole entire life to it. Kirk, where did these ladies come, where did these ladies come voluntary? But, well, of course, now for, for example, we for here. Comes a Pellenic Panic. Sea Ranch is Madaga. 
there for the helium experimental station. Eve, it's the same story for all of us, Captain. That man, mine was a farm plant, and the ultimate machines were company. And two boys, a cook, two fours, men their clothes, girl, channel mud, a foot thick on their boots. Every time they walked in, mud, fine, Evie, fine. Eve, it's not fine, we've got men willing to be our husbands waiting for us. They try and kill us in the opposite direction, staring at us. Like we were f- simultaneous home and harem girls or something. Mud. That's enough, Eve. Kirk, the only charges are against Mr. Mud, the legal operation of vessel. Do you have any uh, offence to offer? Kirk, only heaven's known truth, which I just gave you. Kirk, the hearing is closed. Mr. Mud, be handed over to legal authorities on nearest, earliest opportunity. Eve, and what about us? What happened to us? Help us, please, all of us. Kirk, Mr. M- Mr. Mahonin, if you don't mind, got our oh, last crystal, sir, it's gone. So the Captain Kirk, engineering section reports our tire life support system is now on batteries. Kirk, Mr. Spock, Mrs. Mahora, could you, would you mind, Mrs. Spock, will have you contact the Myers, Virgil 12, notify him. We need this trinifrium crystals immediately after arrival, upon arrival as officers leave. But oh, you yeah, there, you beautiful galaxy. Oh, what heavenly universe. Well, girls, living millionaires. Don't you understand? Lonely, isolated. Oh, what? Rich, living miners. Girls, do what? Do you want your husbands here? Evie, don't be satisfied by a mere cat, cat, ship's captain. Are you a man who can buy you a whole planet? Maggie, you going to, to be a countess. Ruth, I'll take you as my, you as a duchess. I was running next to Starship Captain Kirk. The next orders we've taken be given by Harcourt, friend of Mud. Captain's log start eight one three one three three zero oh, one. Vision fourteen hours out of Wago Wago twelve. We're zeroing in pulse engines. Engine fuel low, belly significant. The Harcourt G orbit over the planet. Living replacements are now imperative. The effect of Mud's women on my crew continues to grow. Still, totally unexplained, Mud Mud is confined its quarters under guard. Sit by roof. May I come in? Of course, yes. Please do. By all means. Connor, are you finished, Roof? I was just wondering what this place looked like. It's fascinating, Roof. Coy, would you walk? Would you walk, walk past my panel again, please, Roof? For what? McCoy, my medical scanner. Roof. Oh, why? You're not giving me an examination, are you? Look at. Oh no! I don't trust my judgment. Believe me. Just walk on by pilot, by pilot, please, Mark. Scan a heart man to activate. Not supposed to do that. Ruth, I just wonder where will you be examining the miners where go twelve? Well, quite yes, if they needed it. But Ruth, you haven't, haven't asked. Are they in good? You haven't asked yet. Are they in good health and all? Because quite what? Oh yes, they're in excellent health. All three of them. But Ruth, all three? Well, quite, are you wearing something? Unusual kind of perfume? Something over radioactive, my dear? Ruth, no, just me. Okay, I wonder what makes it do that. Captain Kirk's at quarters. Eve, Captain, I hope you don't mind, Kirk. As a matter of fact, Miss Hocum, I do, Eve. I was trying to take a walk. I just, I just had to run, run in someplace. You see, all your men were looking at me, following me with their eyes, Kirk, yes. I have to talk to them about that. They, uh, don't do that orderly, Mrs. Holdham. But somehow, in your case, the ladies live you. Oh, it's, uh, uh, they're probably just lonely. I can understand loneliness. Kirk, yes. Uh, now, Mrs. Holdham, colon. Eve, I suppose you understand it even more. Having to run a huge ship like this, so much responsibility. Every minute, having to be so careful with your men looking up, up to you. Uh, well, probably appears more difficult than it is. 
even I, I read one you once a commander has to act like a paragon of virtue. I never met a paragon. Kurt, neither have I. Eve, well, of course not. No one is. But some people are trying to pretend, don't you, Captain? Kurt, Miss Harum, I don't. Eve, oh, no, I just can't do it. I can't care what the Harry Mud says. I don't you. I can't go through it with it. I hate this whole thing. Mud quarters, mud. Just free? You sure? With it's the miners healthy and you're very young. Mud later, dear, later, Magda. Do you did you get your communications, man? Magda, the head miners named Ben Treadless. There was a gossip and Brenton. Mud and they've been there Ruth, almost three years now alone. Mud. Perfect, perfect. Three of them three lovely ladies. As Harry and Mud and Lithium Crystals, my dear, are worth three hundred times their weight in diamonds, thousands of times their weight in gold, roof. But we we to be down there. We'll be up here, circling a hundred miles above them. Mud da and there's a guard outside your door your door, Harry. You can't get out of your cabin. Mud no, my dears. But now after one job off for you, it won't be for Harry be Harry Mud as trapped. It'll be the gentleman named James T. Eve, I don't like you. I'm not very happy with myself either. But, well, I'm not surprised. I see you noticing the captain, Eve. We're supposed to notice them. Oh, Harry, I don't feel very good. I think I must be near the time. Kirk Bridge. Kirk, I've asked for pre-orbital calls, Mr. Farrell. Farrell, pre-orbital calls locked in, sir. Kirk, as the last time I've given you order, my, an order twice, gentlemen. We're down to Patrick Power and we're low on that. Scott, I got us to Rigel 12, sir. There's a shake, be a shaky orbit. Kirk, they're just hanging us long enough to get six crystals, Scotty. That is all we need, Scott. I'll get you there. Kirk, ridiculous. What are you running? What are you running here? Do you examine them? Do you examine Eve? McCoy's refused. Kirk, oh, come on, your doctor. What is it? Is it? Is it that, that we tried and they're beautiful? They're incredibly beautiful. McCoy, they are, Jim. They're actually more lovely, pound for pound, measurement for measurement, than any woman you've known. Oh, that you just, well, get that beautiful. No, strike that, strike that. McCoy, what are they? McCoy, you mean? Are they alien illusions or sort of thing? Kirk, I asked you first. McCoy, no, no, alien. It's well enough to pull this, to keep my, my medical scanners from growing bleep. McCoy, I don't follow you. McCoy, Kirk, I don't follow you. McCoy, I don't I didn't either. Uh, Mad's quarters. Mad, uh, Madgar, two space frequencies of space three, nine, hands over communicator. Mad, Rigel 12, Rigel 12, childless. This is Rigel 12, come my in, Enterprise. Mad, is this, this is exactly the Enterprise. My name is Harry Mud. The witch is a, a pleasure to speaking, sir. Bridge, Sulu. Paris, Paris curve to so dropping, Captain Farrell. We make out, we make orbit, sir. Temporal one. Kirk, lay in computer. Spock, we stay in this orbit for three days, seven hours. Kirk, more than enough time. Communications that we represent. If by the twelve miners meet us there, discuss our needs. Beam him up first. Pass over the cabin, their camp. Here he is, sir. Much quarters. Roof. Look what's happening. Hand length. Skin slightly aligned. Look at me face. Magna, give us the pills. Ruth, what is it? What if someone sees us like this? Eve, you don't never find them, Mahari. If you don't, if you do not find them, you know what they are? A cheat. You care for someone who really care. Mud destroying, re sank in drawers, frankly. For whom, Eve, for Kirk, you'll find out those ship captains already married, girl. To their vessels. You'll find out the first time we come between him and the ship, you see. Ruth, I'm going back to where well, I was ugly. Magda, I can't, my, can't stand myself like this. Ruth, why did you hide them? Harry, don't you trust us? Mad. I didn't hide them, girl. I put them in a safe place in case I was searched. My, Magara, keep the pill, Harry. Harry, my mattress? Yes, here. 
with Magda, with the, uh, them eagerly. Go on, Eve, take it, not a cheat. It's a miracle some man can appreciate it and, ne- and who needs it. Curse quarters, Spock. Even burned and cracked, they're beautiful. Destroying them was a shame. Kirk, that not all, not at all, Mr. Spock. The choice of burning this Lithuanian crystal. Destruction of another man's ship come. Security, yes, sir, mine. Chief Cholus and Master Crozet. Kirk, good. Show them in. I'm J- 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 Kirk, James Kirk. I'm James Kirk, Captain of the Enterprise. He's my science officer, Mr. Spock. Tradless. Let's get right to business. You want lithium crystals? We got them. Cut fire. I'm all for us to pay and to quite the right price. Charles, we're not sure if a sale, Captain. We have never prefer. We may prefer a swap. Kirk, what do you want? Have, have in mind. God, there's mad women. Women. Kirk got it. If we like them, we'd like to have a look at them. At first, of course. Charles, right. Trot them out, Captain. Oh, and Mary Henry out either way. Agreed to have him released. Charges drop. At last. Is it anything else? Charges. It's not. You've got no choice, Kurt. You, you beam a learning party down. You won't find one blessed crystal. Kurt, no deal. You're a long way out in space, gentlemen. You need medical help. Run, well, go run. Starship protection. You want to consider those facts too, man? Come along, ladies. Come along. Must be Ben Charles. Come on, girls. Come on. Ruth. You must, you must be her at home, gossip, gossip. Yes, I reckon I am, gossip. It's one thing I say for you, mud. You're not a liar. Ladies, you're welcome. Kirk, this is not still no deal, Spock. Conversing batteries. Sir, her pile, mud. I told you there were, there were only three days or bit left before they start spiraling in. I go hate to see you suffering such a situation, Captain. Truth is, there'll be a sad fact that you, you deal Sooner or later, they'll have to. You'll have to. Catch an old transporting down to this planet's Rigel 12 to acquire, re- re- replace at lithium crystals. It's back further difficulty for miners. Miners camp. Coke. All right, Charles, you won. Now take the lithium crystals, Charles. When we have the, when I have the time, Kurt, Kurt, Charles, 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 you're busy, Mister Kurtzok, Kirk. Spot, we don't have the time to spare, Captain. Kirk, you got a better idea, Charles. Eve, bows like that all that all the time. We get lost a dozen feet from our doorstep. Wind comes up sudden, magnetic storm. It means the wind it will, will, will really rip soon. Magda, dance for me, Charles. Would you like to dance? Eve, no, cos. I'm oh, sorry, I guess it must be the dust. Charles, the way it is on my go at the moment cuts the roof, and the roof is dead. Cos it, hey, Bassett Benton. Go away, Bassett. I'm cutting in, Benton. No, not, no, not on me, fighting, fight starts Benton. Not on um, me. Not for me, fight out, Charles. What's the matter with you? Eve, why don't you run and raffle and lose the gets me, Eve's? Charles, you can't go about like out there. You'll be killed, Kirk. You have those crystals here when I get back. Planet surface, Kirk. Kirk. Eve, Eve, Captain's log. I transported aboard the Empire to implement such a frame for red scanners and scripts. Sensing team system. Magic storms and planet surfaces cutting down speed, fitting the equipment. Search now in progress for three hours, nineteen eighty minutes bridge. Rail transverse parallel three and four. So checking but not getting much. Spock, the speech storm is ionizing atmosphere. Captain, getting difficult to probe for it. Scott, Captain, this is draining our batteries further. If only we had those crystals, Kirk. We don't, we don't, I can't get any. I should have found my way. I'm satisfied, Mr. Scott. You are losing communication with the miners and man, so a magnetic storm seems worse. Kirk, has Charles reported it yet? A year or no, sir. 
He and the girl are still missing. Kirk, sorry, Scotty. How much power do we have? About Scott, about five hours, sir. Captain Log, having spent it all but 43 minutes of power, ship condition critical. Search down progress. Seven hours, 31 minutes. Magnetic storms are coming, easing. Sp- eat, spot, eat, bridge, spot. Interfed reading. Check, Terrace three. Quit, f- zero, four, zero, for L. Beat eight miles. Bearing to one, two, one for the mining company. Zero, zero, that's Ben Charles' quarters. Bok, there's a heat until the operation is there. We are, we could be cock stove. Kirk, have, have mud meet me in the transporter room. Spark mud. Kirk, the name of the, the name of the game. Childers, childless quarters, childless. I had things where I wanted them. Eve, I ate some of your food, and so I paid with our, your chores. Ellis, childless, and what did you, and do my own cooking? I not laid a hand on you. Remember that. Eve, by the sound of your mail ego, you travel halfway across the galaxy. It's still the same song there. You're going to eat or talk. Childless, I guess they're transposed to sit, taste, and roll my eyes. All females cooking again. I tasted better by my own hand. Wave. Well, you're tasting some of it now. I can't skate free of these of yours. Leaving out, leaving out that plan. God, Childless, you won't find a, a well. You go, you find me a well, some decent water, and talk, Eve. Well, why don't you hang your plan out in the wind and let the sand blast its clean? Or haven't you thought about that? Charlie after hanging out of the pots. There's sunlight. So that's solitaire? Eve, double jacks, Charles. A red eight ought to go with a black one. Nine. Eve, not in this double pack, Charles. You're not only a pain... As an old bucket, but even, not even, not even good company. What the devil happened? Your looks anyway. Eve, I tired you, of you, I slumped. Charles, you heard that, what they said? You homely, I don't get enough of, in crystals already, by, by queens, the the gross, Kirk and mud, enter. I didn't touch her, mud. Now, thank heavens you found me, uh, Charles, she's been bubbling with gratitude ever since. Mud, sit down, Kirk, sit down, tell him, tell him, Harry. Mud, oh yes, well, Kirk, and Venus drugs, Harry. Charles, Venus drugs? I have heard of it, but not one of those, it's not just one of those stories. Mud, well, actually, see, it's a relatively really harmless dialogue. Dreve, harmless, mud. Well, it does give them more, give them one, whatever you want to have. Well, with women, it makes them more muscular. Women rounder, men more aggressive. Women more female. Them and Kirk, he gave it to the women before they, they met. They, you met them. Charles, does that mean the others? He really looked like she does. But Mister Charles, Charles, is that what it means? Eve, yes, that's what it means. Charles, what happened to my partners? Kirk, they left on their quarters during the storm. Charles, they're married. Spaceship radio marriage. It was a fraud. They got they get they can get out of it. Mud if they want to. Charles, why mud? You can't condemn a woman. Women. Charles, I can. A man goes out to fight some always dies. He's only dead. You should have. But he didn't. And now we got the good life in our hands. You bring us a woman for wives. Eve, you didn't want wives, you want this. This is what you wanted, want Mr Charles. I hope you remember it and dream about it. Because you can't have it. It's not real. Takes appeals. Is this the kind of wife you want, Ben? Not someone to help you? Not a cook, wife to cook? A sew and cry in need of this kind? Selfish, vain, useless? Is that what you really want? All right, then. Have it. Here it is. Kirk, quite a woman. Uh, Charles? Charles, fake, plumped up by a drug. Kirk, by herself, she took no drug. Eva swallowed it. Kirk, colourless, gentlemen. E mud, yes. It took away my drug and substituted that. Eve, but it can't be, Kirk. There's only one that there's only one kind of woman. Mud oh man, for that matter. Kirk, you you believe in yourself or you don't. Alright, Trellis, I've gone as far as you and I intend to. 
I want you those lithium crystals. I want them now. Enterprise, this is Kirk. Spock. Spock here, Captain. Kirk, stand by. Do I beam down a search party? Charles, no. The crystals are here. And you're welcome to them. Spock, Kirk, stand by, Mr. Spock. We're coming aboard with lithium crystals. Spock, how many coming, Captain? Charles, he will stay here stay today at least. Or you might we want to talk Eve, Kirk, Eve. Eve, I've got someone up there called the Enterprise. You've got someone up there called the Enterprise. Kirk, the two of us, Mr. Spock. Come on, Mr. Mudd. Mudd, don't you think you should, could possibly, by accident, arrange, leave me behind here on this planet? There could be punishment enough. Kirk, I can't do that, Harry. But um, appear as a character witness for your trial. You think that'll help? Mudd, they'll throw away the key. Bridge McCoy, it must have been quite a talk you made, made down there. Ever tried considering the planet patient? Medicine business? Kirk, why should I work for that? Your side of the street. But I'm happy for the affair is over. Most annoying emotional episode. McCoy, smack right in the old heart. Oh, sorry. Just in case it would it would be there about here. But the fact that my internal arrangement differs from yours, Doctor, pleases me no end. For our close potted and all systems operation. Sulu, engines engaged, him answering. Pharrell, out of orbit, sir. Kirk, full, head full. Sulu, head full, sir.